Today, we're here at Bangsan B, which I personally believe is a hidden gem only one hour away from Bangkok, Thailand. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss any of the amazing places we're about to explore today. Starting with this one. This is Bangsan Beach and there's some amazing things to do here, including enjoying the beach, powered skydiving, jet skis, and also some of the best seafood buffets you'll ever have. Many of the Bangsan residents come here to do their morning exercise. As you can see, this path goes on for miles. And all of these little stalls that you see here are individual food vendors, but they usually come in the evening time. But in the morning, there are some vendors selling little things like coffee and drinks and maybe even some basic sweets. So if you do come in the morning, you can look forward to that. How you doing, B? I'm clean. And you? I'm doing good. How's the green tea? Good. I like it. I think it's pretty good uh... for being only a dollar. Now that I got my $1 morning drink, it's time for me to get my morning run. When you come out here to Bangsan Beach, there's actually chairs next to the beach that you can rent. But some of the restaurants, if you order food there, they actually let you sit at the beach. Most of the coffee vendors here at Bangsan Beach are pretty basic, but this is actually a unique coffee vendor. So I need my morning fix of coffee, so I'm gonna give this to B. B. Oh, Americano, my wanga. And the thing that's pretty awesome about this coffee shop is after you get your coffee, you can come over here, sit, and have an ocean view. Yeah, so I'm really impressed with this coffee shop at Bangsan Beach. This was only about two US dollars, and if you come here with a girlfriend, it might be one of the best deals in Thailand. And it looks like if you come to this coffee shop, you might even get lucky and get some clams for dinner. I really can't believe Bang San Beach is only an hour away from Bangkok. If you're liking the video so far, please give the video a like. And also, make sure to subscribe because you see that over there? That's Sriracha. And we're gonna go explore that in Travel Thailand Season 2. You're not gonna wanna miss that. The coffee here is pretty good, but the thing you can't beat is the view and spending time with that special person. Oh, that's so romantic. <laughs> this was fun. Let's go to the next place. So we're gonna try giving some of these bananas to these monkeys. This is the first time I came here too. And I've been told that monkeys actually prefer peanuts over bananas. So we'll see if that's true or not. You see how the monkeys just jump up on the people's cars and they're waiting for people to give them food. That's pretty wild. That's actually pretty funny, check that out. If you're not someone that's adventurous, you could even stay in the car and feed the monkeys from the car. But if you're a daredevil, then you can try to feed them outside the car. Are you scared? No. This is pretty crazy. You actually have to be careful about these monkeys because they might look friendly, but some of them are actually pretty mean. I wouldn't say that this would be the best place to come and see the views because the views are nice, but they're nothing incredible or anything like that. But if you want to get the experience of feeding monkeys, I guess this is the place to do it. Let's see if this guy can catch. Are you ready? I think, oh, he got it. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> this guy's not as good as the other one. So we'll give this guy an easy pass. There you go. Gang, gang, gang. I actually didn't know this about monkeys. So they'll eat pretty much peanuts, bananas, and also this Thai fruit called the nya. As you can see, there's a lot of peels of the nya fruit. So I think in America, it's called a lychee. And I really like it, and so do these monkeys. I want to see them open up the lychee. I really want to see them eat it too. Huh? <laughs> this guy looks pretty mean over here. See this one? So he seems to prefer the lychee over the peanuts. So I guess each of these guys have a different preference. These guys are crazy. They just straight up eat the seeds. They don't even eat around the seeds. This is my son. I name him Lu Bu based off of the, the Chinese general. Come on, Lu Bu. You ready? I don't know if you were able to see that. So this guy was looking at this guy and they just flashed their fangs at each other. 
Let me know in the comments below, when a monkey flashes his teeth, is that a display of aggression or is that actually a display of submission? Because I heard that it could go either way. Bang San is actually a fishing town and we're about to go check out one of the largest seafood markets in all of Thailand. This is the Ang Sura fish market and I'm super excited to be sharing this with you. B, uh -huh. what do you want to get today? You want to get some fresh shrimp or some fresh crab? I like some fresh crab. Fresh crab? Yes, yeah, fresh okay. crab. Let's try to find some fresh crab. By the way, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard if you buy some seafood here, they'll actually cook it for you right on the spot. So we're gonna order half a kilo of shrimp and he's gonna cook it for us too. This is crazy cheap. Half a kilo is only about 80 baht, which is less than $3. This is the new renovated seafood market out here, but there's also an old one that's been around for I think almost a hundred years that we're gonna go check out in a little bit. This is what the shrimp looks like on the inside. But something that you might not know about the shrimp is that a lot of people actually eat its brains too. And it's actually not bad. It's kind of like a oily, fattening delicacy almost. Pretty much anything your heart desires, you can get at this seafood market. We got squid, crab, clams, and even this strange concoction over here. Yeah, so I've actually never tried this before. This is, uh, I guess, like a fried fish bowl. And this was only 15 baht, which is about 50 cents. And now, for the moment of truth, we're gonna try this fish bowl and see if it's worth the 50 cents or not. This fish bowl reminds me of my childhood. It's still warm. It's very soft. It's a little spicy. What do you think, B? Nice. Is it good? Good. Yeah, and if we look over here to our left, we could see all these pillars. Mm -hmm. And from what I've been told, most of the food from this seafood market is actually from those pillars over there. And we still got fresh fish down there too. Looks like they'll even fry it for you. <laughs> this is probably one of the craziest price differences between America and Thailand. Three kilograms of those mussels over there are only 100 baht, which is about three US dollars. Bizarre. And our shrimp is finally finished, but we're gonna wait to eat this back in Bangkok. This is one of the most modern seafood markets in all of Thailand. And this is one of the oldest seafood markets in all of Thailand. Yeah, so this seafood market seems to have a lot more diverse seafood compared to the newer market. You got some crab, some squid, and they do actually have some real lobsters too. I think these are actually shrimp and those are giant lobsters. It looks like Thailand do have lobsters, but if we get imported lobsters, they usually come from Vietnam. Check this out too. This plant tastes very similar to salmon egg. We got baby squid here, and we got giant squid. We even got some sharks here too. Look at all these oysters. This entire bag is only 200 baht, about $6. So I've actually had these before. This is what they look like with the peels on, and this is what they look like with the peels off. And they taste like a hybrid between a shrimp and a lobster and usually when the normal situation there's actually a few restaurants here too beautiful plates here too so when you buy your seafood you can put them in here also let me know in the comments below which market do you like more the new market or the old market Oh, hey, hey, Julian. Hey, Steve, I'm out here in Chonburi and I'm trying to think of some fun things to do. Do you know of anything that we can do out here? Yeah, yeah, actually, like, I'm, I'm at the Grand Canyon, like, it's... What, really? There's a Grand Canyon out here? It's right around the corner. Hold on, I'll be right there. Yeah, sure, see you there. Hey, what's up, Steve? Yo, hey, man. How's it going? Good, good. Thanks for telling me about this place. Yeah, I didn't no even problem. know that uh, you had a Grand Canyon out here in Chonburi. Yeah, actually, we have. Like, it's this one. Yeah, so can you show me around? 
Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, Steve, do you know kind of the history of this place or anything about this place? Uh, yeah, like actually this this is uh, an abandoned mine. Yeah, this place actually looks pretty nice, Steve. Yeah, I know. Looks like it's a big uh, Instagram spot too. Yeah, for sure. See. That looks a little dangerous though. Me. I always knew it was one of your dreams to pet a husky. So today I'm taking you to fulfill one of those dreams of yours. Yeah, this is actually pretty wild and it's my first time coming to one of these dog cafes. This one is really nice. Those dogs over there kind of looks like uh, the Dogecoin symbol. Maybe they're gonna have a husky coin sometime soon. Yeah, so we're here now at the Husky House Dog Cafe, and the prices are actually pre pretty reasonable. Looks like you got some American steaks, also some Italian food. Looks like they got Thai food too. Check that out. But I'm not really that hungry. I'm gonna try to see if we can get maybe some appetizers and some drinks would be nice. B, do you want to take this dog home with us and raise it oh. in our condo? Yes, I want. Oh, okay. Maybe next year, okay? So, one thing that I really like about this cafe is that there's no dog smell at all. This place smells really good and the prices are pretty reasonable. Around 65 to 150 baht per drink. And they don't have an entrance fee, which is great. So we're here with the owner, yeah. Beer. Hi, thank you. And we're gonna check out what breeds they have here. Okay. And also what some of the dog's names are. So okay. let's start with the first one right here. Okay, the first one is Golden Retriever. His name is Chang Noi. Chang Noi, which is a little elephant in Thai? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what about this giant one oh, right here? Oh, okay, this big one. It's like basically this is Alaskan Malamute, but they they breed like bigger. So we we call it giant Alaskan. We can see that this dog is almost bigger than B. <laughs> How heavy is he? Seventy. Seventy kilograms. Yes. So this dog weighs as much as I do. I weigh seventy kilograms. <laughs> this dog weighs seventy kilograms. And what what is his name? Pao Pao. And then is this an American Eskimo? Oh no, white this one? is. Ah, uh, Samoy. Oh. We name him Tong Khao. Tong, Tong Khao. is like a gold. White gold. Yeah, white gold. White gold. Yes. Interesting. Yes. And this is also another husky? Yes, husky. And what is his name? Uh, or her it's, name? It's, it's very hard to say, but Sora Pong. And do you think this is true? A house is not a home without a dog? Yeah. Do you think everyone should have a dog? Yes, yeah, should have a dog. You, you can like very happy and let when you feel sad, feel like not comfortable, you can hug them. That They can feel your emotion and they're like, they will like heal you. And they'll, they'll love you no matter what, right? Yes. <laughs> How long has the uh, restaurant been open for? Almost four years. Oh, four yes, years. Yes, yes. Yeah, so thank you so much for yes, having us. Welcome. And if you want to come out to the Husky Cafe, yes. the link will be in the description below. I feel kind of bad drinking the, the face of the dog. You know, it's kind of like a sad face. You know, that's some good stuff right there. Wow, this was an awesome day. Now there's one last thing that we have to do, is go check out the Bang San Sunset. One amazing thing about Bang San is they always have amazing, beautiful sunsets. And this is my new child. He's been following us for the last 10 minutes. Bang San Beach is probably one of the lesser known beaches out here in Thailand, but it's actually a kind of a hidden gem out here. In the Bang San area, there's a lot of new developments going on. Over here to our right, we have an all-you-can-eat buffet and new buildings being developed. It is the closest beach to Bangkok. So Bang San Beach is only about an hour and a half drive from Bangkok and it's closer than Hua Hin. So this is actually one of my favorite all-you-can-eat buffets out here in Thailand. And it's only about 200 baht all-you-can-eat and that includes the seafood. So to our left is Siracha. We also have Gat Si Chang to our right. And one really cool thing about Bang San Beach is you have these little boat rides too. You can see the jet ski pulling behind a little floating device. Now we have arrived at the Khao Samuk viewpoint. 
And from what I've been told, this is one of the nicest views in all of the Bangsan area. And we also got a coffee shop and restaurant behind me. But if we walk up through this walkway, I believe we're gonna see one of the nicest views in all of Bangsan. That was an absolutely gorgeous sunset. If you get a chance in your life to come here, you definitely should check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video and all the support you have for the Travel Thailand season one. See you in the next season. Bye bye. And we wouldn't be able to. It's pretty cool. They're kind of like uh, umbrella looking things. Five stories tall. They're meditating. To the top for health reasons. This is actually a pretty cool view of the dragon right here. 100, 300 baht per person be able to fit in this hole. Aww. I need to tam, tam tini, la ba, ah! <laughs> <laughs>